Hello everybody, it's Bleakborn. I'm coming at you with a project today. I am going to foam in this background. I'm sick of this tank's mirrors and I figured why not do a cool, awesome, you know, hexagon frog tank eventually. Or whatever I end up putting in here. Um, it's going to need a new top figured out, but we'll do that after foaming in the background. So uh, this is kind of the layout I want to go with. I'll give you guys a top front view. So this will kind of be the direct front view. It's going to have a bunch of viewing panels, which is going to be pretty cool. So each will have its own kind of features. Those two pieces of cork bark are going to be planted. And I wanted to keep it pretty simple because last ones I've done a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff. And I'd rather just have, you know, easy carvable foam, some cool looks. I have one more piece of wood I'm going to throw on the background over here just to kind of give it some texture change. I think it's gonna look pretty good. So we'll get right into foaming. So just hold on a second. So we're gonna be using uh, the uh, Good Stuff brand, or Great Stuff brand, Gaps and Cracks. This is or or yellow foam, they didn't have black this time. So I will cover all the background spots, all the mirror, and then kind of get these pieces positioned where I want them. So we'll get right into it. And I'm going to start at the bottom where it's harder to reach, so I don't... Whoop! <laughs> Came out a little quicker than I was expecting. So I'm just going to kind of fill all the areas where I think it's going to need it. So there you guys have it, quick and dirty, quick foaming of the tank. I will uh, show you guys the next process is pulling off the foam after it cures, but I'll pick you up guys up and you guys can see how it ended up looking. I think it looks pretty good. Um, all this foam will really expand out, so we'll see how it looks like before I do the removal, but I think it's kind of pretty cool looking. And it'll make use of this uh, awkward shaped tank that I got. It'll be nice for a tree frog or something. And it, I didn't really want to spend time scratching off the mirror in the back to make it a usable tank and I knew it actually held water. Um, it's been sitting in there for like a month now to, to see if it, how much water and how long it would hold it so it doesn't leak at least in the lower section this foam will help. So the next project will be tearing apart all the foam and then going in with a nice, um, that just slid already. Uh, going in with a knife and uh, removing like the hard crispy stuff and then applying silicone to all the surfaces so, and then applying uh, some of this. I am going to test out a theory here. Um, I've seen other people do this. They press it into the foam. I'm just going to sprinkle some right into that area and just see if it actually ends up sticking or not. Um, I didn't wear gloves but I'd recommend wearing gloves for this. I just want to see if it'll end up sticking into that area um, just to see how well that great stuff holds that and if it does maybe next time I will do a, I'll press it into all the areas to save a step but for right now I'm gonna try that out and see how it does but there you guys go this is the top down 
A lot of planting spots. This is the front, or this is the front, and this is the side view. But it's looking pretty cool. And uh, this will be the 20 gallon hex tank build. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on it. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, it's dried for over a day, um, over 24 hours. So here you guys can see how it ended up looking. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, honestly. So next thing, it needs to be carved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the front here and I'm gonna carve it a little bit while you guys are on camera. I might speed through this depending on how easy it is to carve in this hexagon tank, but I'll be using my handy dandy steak knife and a uh, bent steak knife. <laughs> um, you can use any kind of tool you want that can uh, be able to remove it. You can even just pinch it free, um, but be ready for a big mess. So I got a trash can that I'm going to be using to put all the chunks of foam, but what I'm gonna do is just start sawing it down. I took off the rim so I wouldn't have that in the way. But I wanna make sure that if I do get a nice top for this made, um, I'll have pretty flush up here. But I didn't want the rim to get stuck on there in case I couldn't use it or whatever. So. But we'll get started, and you guys can just watch me saw through this for a good long time like before. I'm gonna expedite the process. As you guys can see, it's gonna take forever, so uh, we'll just jump back when I'm done. Okay, there you guys go. Um, as you guys can see, I've tore off most of the shiny, harder sections of foam, so that way the silicone that I'll apply on it will actually stick. Um, as you guys can see, I kind of didn't really worry about the bottom as much because that'll be all underneath the dirt, pretty much at the base of that. that. Yeah, so the dirt will probably be right up to about there and then slope down towards the front. So I'm not too worried about that. I'll just cover it all in silicone still. Um, some of my parts of the mirror didn't get covered, but I should be able to cover that up with silicone. And then if you look down, you got planting spot here, major planting spot there, potential planting spot there, and another planting spot back here. So you can have a couple drooping vines or stuff to climb up. I think it'll look pretty cool when it's done. Um, the next step in this is covering it with silicone and applying the background. And I'll do, be doing that in the next video. So please stay tuned. And that one should be dropping soon after this one drops, probably a week or two, depending on if I get to it right away. But here you guys go. This is the 20 gallon hexagon vivarium background build. Um, and uh, we'll keep it going. And I'll see you guys next time.